What's good everybody, so this is another video from the car show, but this time we got a ride in a new 2019 model for Toyota and Jeep. This time they were showing us the new features within the car. Alright, let's get right into the video. Out of the back, uh, Jonathan will be your driver here today. How's it going guys? How are you doing? I can't complain. It's a fun job. Uh, looks like it. <laughs> Alright, if I make a buckle up, then I'm just going to roll forward slowly while you do that. All right, guys. So this is the 2019 RAV4. Uh, there's a couple different trim levels available. What we have today, here today is the Limited Adventure and the Hybrid. Uh, we're in the Limited. So um, a couple redesigns from last year is actually a two and a half liter engine, which is a little bit bigger, and then also an eight speed automatic transmission. Uh, so we're gonna put some of this to the test here. We're gonna do a full throttle run, and at the end of the orange cones, we're gonna jam on the brakes and test out the stopping power too. What size engine you said? Two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. Now, it's still a four-cylinder. Yeah. This car is kind of like on the fence between you know, maybe being big enough to go six, but Toyota totally want to keep it four just to mm. you know, make it a little bit better in gas. Yeah. The, um, the hybrids are pulling 40 to the gallon uh, combined city highway, which is cool considering it's a 3,800-pound SUV, right? Mm -hmm. So let's go. Not bad, right? No. So we're going to head over here on this ramp. And um, you're going to feel the car do something pretty awkward here. Feel it teetering around right there. We have uh, what's called a TVD, and it's a torque vectoring differential. In that case, that left rear tire is off the ground. So what the torque vectoring does is distributes power only to the tires that have traction. So in that case, it wouldn't, wouldn't uh, put any drive to that wheel. It wouldn't make any sense because it's in the air. Now, um, we have some really cool cameras here. We actually have a front view facing camera and a bird's eye view cam, if you look at the screen right here. The bird's eye view is really cool. It's not like there's a drone following us around. It actually works off of separate camera imagery from all around the car. It takes those individual images, but then stitches them together to give you that view. Very helpful for parallel parking or backing into a space, something like that. In fact, when you steer, you see the yellow lines. Based on where you steer, it's gonna show you your trajectory. Um, I can also put the car into rock and dirt mode. So we're gonna go over these rocks and you're gonna see it's gonna get pretty bumpy here. I call this the Manhattan Pothole Simulator. <laughs> so far, everybody agrees. <laughs> Part of our park assist package is actually auto braking, so I'm going to pull up to these cones and I'm going to pretend like I didn't even see them. And see how the car automatically applies the brakes? Yeah. So, really cool feature. You never want to rely on it, but it is good to know it's there just kind of as a backup. All right, ready for a donut? <laughs> Not bad, right? Sounds like a sports car. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, thanks, man. Thank you, you so day. much. Enjoy the rest of your day, okay? You too. Welcome, on, guys. Welcome aboard. Oh. Dr. Rubicon, top of the line for the Wranglers. First Motor Trend SUV of the year this year after the new redesign. All kinds of great changes. New motor options, new transmission options, new roofing options. Added all the electronic goodies they never had before. They even have a mild hybrid out now. And next year they're starting with a diesel option. This one has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 they've had for many years now. Still 285 horse and 260 pound feet of torque, but now we get 23 the gallon on the highway instead of 21. Swap this from a five speed to an eight speed automatic to do that, but you can still get it with a manual. They even bumped us up to 33 inch tires for better ground clearance. Made the wheel wells big enough, we put 35 inch tires under it. No lift kit required. Save a bunch of money in the aftermarket that way. Those lift kits aren't cheap. Yeah. I like the new inclinometer on the new 8.4 inch touchscreen. You can double check me now, make sure we hit 25 degrees on the side hill. Show you how stable they are. Nailed it. <laughs> Of course, all of our competitors are independent suspension. They all have to lift a wheel two to four feet off the ground and do a teeter-totter to make it over this little ramp. We're the only ones out there on solid axles have a five-link suspension with sway bar disconnect. Our tires never leave the ground anywhere on the whole track. That's what makes us king of the trail. Keep the rubber on the dirt where they do you some good. Yeah, roof comes off easier, doors come off easier, windshield folds down in less than five minutes. Leaves all the bars behind, you get a full six-point roll cage. Did I see you pointing at the new sound bar? Speakers on it there, that covers up one of your roll cage bars. Wow. Great traction with the all-terrain from BF Goodrich on the corners. Walk right up a 35-degree hill. The 
perch out at 28,000. Fully loaded, they're a little over 60. We're about 56 with this one. And then you figure out why we wanted the seat belt so badly. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me for a round. Have a great day out there. You too. You too. You too.